Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm about to head off to the Permission, my Vira HW95, my Hawk 4 to 16 by 50 scope. Um, I got a tester of these JSB Hades I bought uh, for about £4 off eBay for 50 of them. They are the 5.50 head size, 2.2 calibre obviously, and they weigh 15.89 grains. And actually, as you can see here, I washed and lubed these pellets up. So... These pellets are really clean. First impressions of these pellets, guys, they seem really good. I haven't shot any of them yet, but the quality of the pellets, as you can see, they're very shiny. And when I did wash them, not a lot of lead residue actually came off them. So, so far, so good from the JSB factory of these Hades. So I hope they perform well in my gun. Uh, let me show you the targets I'll be using today. So here's my three targets, as you can see. JSB Hades sample pack, 5.50, 15.89 grain, washed and lubed. And that dot on the center, guys, is a 10 millimeter dot. So that is one centimeter in width. I just put it on the bullseye because when I'm looking through my scope, obviously it's a black reticule on the black ring. I find it hard to make out the circle. So I put a little pink sticker on it. These little pink stickers I just got off eBay for about a pound for about 300 of them. Here they are, guys. About uh, a pound for like 300 of them. I'll show you that they're 10 millimeters in size. So, start that there. as you can see, 10, they're 10 millimeters, which is one centimeter in width. So I have three of these targets I'm gonna to use today on my pellet trap. Every single one is named JSB Hades sample pack. Like I said, gonna try these out on the permission today. Um, this sample pack that I bought. I'm hoping my gun performs well with these because I'm looking for a new pellet. Um, as the Air Arms Diablo Hunters are very accurate, but I find there are quite a few damaged skirts. There's only about 50 of them in a tin of 500 that were damaged. I find that the pellets were a little bit inconsistent on, on paper. So I'm, I'm trying the JSB Hades because I've heard nothing but good reviews right, about guys, these guys. So welcome back to the uh, JSB Hades pellet review. So I've got back for my permission now and I've shot my targets, obviously, as you can see. You see here the JSB Hades sample pack. 5.50 head size, 15.89 grains, washed and lubed. So this here is a five shot group. Um, these Hades shot very well in my gun. Where's my five pence? Uh, these Hades shot very well in my gun. And this is a five shot group. And I have five pence here just to show you the size of the group. As you can see, covered very easily by a five pence. And this in the UK is the smallest coin we have. So as you can see, covers that group in very well. So I'm very happy with that. Um, then I have another group here that I actually had a flyer in. This one had a bit of a damaged skirt, hence why it's this far over. But this is a six shot group, five here, and obviously that one. I used the five pence again. As you can see, if we just fiddle with this a little bit. So as you can see, that, as you can see, that would also cover it. So as you can see, that would cover it as well. So a five pence covers another one of our five shot groups. And then the last group I shot, was a four shot group here. Uh, three grouped very tightly here, and one of them went down here. But as you can see, easily covered with that five pence on the three shot group. We could probably also fiddle that a little bit like that. If we move this around a little bit, we could probably get it to cover it all as well, like that. So, as you can see, these pellets are shooting very accurately in my gun and my Virac HW95. I'm very happy with this. I didn't actually shoot these pellets on any game. So I can't show you the deformation of these pellets because I was only shooting them into my pellet trap. And that has uh, a couple of old socks in there, an old t-shirt as well, just to dampen the sound so it's not so hard of the noise of the pellet hitting the uh, stainless steel pellet trap. So that would be very noisy. So I put them uh, a few socks in there just to quiet it down a bit so the pellets don't get uh, very deformed anyway when they're hitting that because it's not something hard. So when I do actually go ahead and buy a tin of these guys, because I will be buying a tin of these next, um, when I'm done with my Diablo Hunters. So when I buy a tin of those, I'll be showing you what they're like on game. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the proof's in the pudding there really, guys. This isn't the best group I shot. I was shooting them in three shot groups, and I decided to extend a few of them. Like this one I extended to a six shot group. Uh, this one I extended to a five shot. And this one I extended to just a four shot, just put one more shot in there. But as you can see, they do group very accurately. And they have a very accurate pellet as well. Over here I have a group that I shot with the Diablo Hunters as well. That's a Diablo Hunter six shot group I think that is. One obviously went a bit high, and that's a five shot. I'll show you the five pence. It's not really relevant this because this isn't shot with the Hades. It's a Diablo Hunters, but as you can see, 
covers the majority of that, the five shot group. And that's a pretty tight group, I think, because the sticker on there is 10 millimeters, which is a centimeter in width. And you can see one pellet struck the very top of the sticker and the rest went around it. But still, that I would say personally is a very tight group for a Springer as well, so very tight. So yeah, these Hades perform very well in my gun, and I can't wait to pick up a tin of these guys. Um, like I said, these pellets were washed and lubed, and I used the Napier Power Pellet Lube. As you can see, this is the Napier Power Pellet Lube. And I just used a sieve as well. I'm not too sure where this sieve's from, it's just a normal plastic lightweight sieve. Make sure you use a different one than you wouldn't use for cooking, obviously, because you're working with lead here, and lead is poisonous. So just go out and buy a sieve, guys. They're not too expensive. Just don't use the same things used for cooking, because obviously that would have problems. But like I said, that's the lube I use for my pellets, power pellet lube. If you guys want to see how I lube my pellets up, um, leave a comment below and I can do a video on that when I get a tin of Hades. I can show you how I clean and lube my pellets. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, maybe just smash that like button. But overall, the Hades performed very well in my gun, and I can't wait to pick up a tin. Thanks for watching guys, I'll let you guys know when I get a tin of them, I'll make a video as well when I end up buying a tin, so I'm nearly done with the Diablo Hunters, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and let me know how the Hades perform in your rifles, cheers all.